Hi everyone, Leanne here from Jada Blossom and I am here to share another super cute St. Patrick's Day card with you. Hey everybody, so I'm using Jada Blossom's spring banner dies, their border dies, their label dies, their St. Patrick's Day candies grid style, their gnome dies, the St. Patrick's Day add-ons for those, and the candy grid die. And I'm also using Bazil Bling cardstock along with Doodlebug's Pot of Gold 6-inch pad and their um, Lots of Luck add-ons. So I went ahead and I, this is pre-assembled from that video that I did for, for the um, for the Jada Blossom release at the beginning of February. So I've got a piece of one and, th one and three quarters inches, like a strip of card or patterned paper from that pad. And I cut out that border die using um, Doodlebug's Petite Prince 12 inch grasshopper dot grid on the grid side. And I'm just attaching that to my strip and I'm using my AdTech dot glue runner. Like I said, trying to use it up. Now, if I was smart, I would have done ink blending before this, but I didn't really think of it. So you'll see what I do in the meantime. So stick it down, make sure my Teflon bone folder um, sticks it down well and then I'm going to trim off the overhang with a pair of scissors so you know pretty easy stuff then I've got a really cute rainbow from that lots of luck add-on set from doodlebug the odds or sorry the, the odds and ends that's what it's called and I've got a couple more pieces there and then I think to myself, oh, I better do some ink blending. So I pulled out my um, Taylor Expressions blending brushes, the ones that I keep just for distress ox or just for my distress oxide inks. And I'm using Twisted Citron, and I'm going to quickly blend some on. You'll notice there's a little tear that the ink gathers in, but I'm not too worried about that because that will be covered up with that rainbow that I. That's why the tear is there because I teared it off. So um, I'll get it right back in place and I'm not gonna worry about it too much. Now, the no-brainer would have been to use blue like sky, but I thought I'm gonna pull in green because you know we're going with the St. Patrick's Day little look here. So now I'm going to add that rainbow back on, um, and I'm gonna pop up that, um, or add, sorry, not pop up, I'm gonna add that last little cloud, and then my super cute gnome will be popped up with some 3M foam tape. Now, that adorable gnome was put together on the February release um, release and review video. I had them, I put them all together there, and I'm just using them up now. Um, really cute stuff. Um, I used um, Doodlebug, that Doodlebug pad of paper that I mentioned. Uh, what's it called? Pot of gold, the six inch and you know cut out his little hat the striped hat and i use world one cardstock for the peach um, american crafts cardstock for the little rust colored beard and i used white cardstock when i cut out the rainbow and i just colored them in with some copic markers to match and i used smoky shadow cardstock for his little feet so super cute and easy. Um, the card base is Paper Trank White Cardstock 4.25 by 11 scored at five and a half inches to give us a vertical A2 size card. So now this little die is super fun and it's from the label dies. And wouldn't you know, it fits those little candy grids in there perfectly. So I thought, perfect, I'm going to use that as my sentiment. So I'm going to slip that underneath there and try and get it in the right place. There we go. You notice with that Bazil Bling cardstock, one side is shiny and one side is matte. And there we are. I'm going to add a little bit of glue and you'll notice I get a huge glop in there and it's like, oh no. So I've got to make, so I had to, you know, get it out and, you know, get going. So what I did was I went ahead and I cut the little um, cl clover, little clovers, I guess, um, out with uh, that same Bazil Bling cardstock, but I used the matte side and then I used the Bling side to cut out all the little, um, you know, top layers for this. And at first I thought I was going to use this in a banner. Um, later I, you know, I cut it up and use it a little differently, but you know, these cards that we design, they kind of metamorphosize as you put things together. So that's what kind of happens with me. So there we are, gotta add one more of those little shamrocks there shamrocks clover whatever you want to call them and there we go and i always weight down my little 
assembled pieces. So now I'm just trying to figure out what is my sentiment, what am I going to use, Luck of the Irish or Happy St. Patrick's Day. And I decided to use Happy St. Patrick's Day. That was stamped out with the St. Patrick's Day. And then Day. cut out using the grid style dies. So, you know, you could use them on candies, but you could also use it as a sentiment, just like this. Like, how fun is that? So using my reverse tweezers there. Now I'm trying to figure out what am I going to do with my little shiny banner? Am I going to apply it like this? What am I going to do? So as I mess around with this, this is how I make my cards. <laughs> I, I sort of plan it out in my head a little bit, but you know, as things go along, things change. So you got to go with the flow. So now I'm going to just trim these little guys off and I'm going to use them separately as embellishments on this card. So just, you know, easy, easy stuff, adding them to my card base. And like I said, easy stuff. And I will pop these up with my um, Stampin' Up! Dimensionals. Those are kind of my go-to. I do use 3M foam tape too, as you saw, you know, when I was popping up this gnome, but I, I use the um, Stampin' Up! Dimensionals probably the most. So now I'm adding those to my card base. You notice that I also work on a Stampin' Up! Uh, pad I just find it keeps my surface nice and clean and if I want to ink blend on it I can which you know that's what I did when I was you know messing around with my um, distress oxide ink there now I'm going to pop up one of those layers on his hat and isn't that cute I just think it's so cute now I'm going to round the upper right hand corner with a half inch corner chopper from we are memory keepers now I'm going to add a one inch strip of paper from that same um, paper pad on the inside here just to give it a little bit you know make it a little bit more special with my teflon bone folder there i will trim off the overhang there we are and then i'm going to use um this adorable little odds and ends that's that lots of luck um, odds and ends and i'll add that to the inside of my card as a sentiment those little odds and ends from Doodlebug are super fun to use. And I'm going to add one of their little shamrocks on the inside too. Just for some, something a little, make the inside a little bit more special, right? And how cute is that? So I just think it turned out cute. So now I'm pulling out my secure white jelly roll pen and a number 10 to add some bold highlights, um, you know, to a few items here. You know, just making things a little bit more, you know, the I think the highlights really add something to the you know to the die cuts and just makes things pop make things pop a little bit more um and it's easy to do it's not like i use a light source or anything i just kind of pop some on now i'm pulling out my rainbow or shape sprinkles and rainbow hearts they're little tiny mini ones and i'm going to add some green ones um, i'll add three to the card base itself just trying to figure out where they're going to go and you know visual triangle all that jazz and then um, once I get those in place, I'm using a little pen blade to get them in place. And then I've decided that I will add a few of them to that rainbow itself, just three in matching colors. I just thought that would kind of be fun. And it'll add a little texture, but not really distract too much from the card itself because it matches what's underneath it. Just adds a little bit of shine. And there we go, so in pink, orange, and yellow. There we go. So, you know, pretty easy stuff. And then that's it, so thank you so much for stopping by. Be sure to hop on over to the Jada Blossom blog, get inspired, and maybe over to the Jada Blossom store to get your hands on some of these adorable products. And thank you so much for watching my videos, I really appreciate it, and hopefully we'll see you soon in the next one. Bye everyone.